Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This, mo this morning, I would like to present to you the research result of my research is that cultural heritage conservation and development of the Zhuang nationality in China Vietnam border area under the mechanism of Eco Museum participation, a case study on Jiuzhou village in Guangxi, China. As we know nowadays, many precious cultural heritage are dying out at an accelerated rate. People have turned to museums for help, expecting museums to take more responsibilities and obligations in protecting cultural heritage. Because a museum acquires, conserves, researches, communicates, and exhibit the tangible and intangible heritage of human humanity and its environment for the purpose of education, study, and enjoyment. In 1995, the Soja Eco Museum for Miao ethnic minority was established and started the practice of the Eco Museum in China. It also opened up a brand new path for the conservation of culture, uh, ethnic cultural heritage of in China and as well as the muse of a new way for museum to go. So this research has three objectives. The first one is to understand the significance of eco museum to the conservation of cultural heritage of the local Zhuang ethnic community in China Vietnam border area, to know the significant and effects of the cultural heritage conservation in this area. And the third one is to have an effective tourism plus module, model reflecting cultural heritage resources advantage under the participation of eco museum in this area. And this result, uh, uh, this research is with interdisciplinary comprehensive research methods and archival research method and field investigation methods are involved. involved. And moving, before moving into the next part, and first of all, let's know what is Echo Museum. Echo Museum is quite new for some people, but it's not a new term. Many people, maybe some people haven't heard it before, but it's rather old. Uh, it's, have, it's a term original, originated. 1500 years ago in French. The Echo Museum emphasized the institute protection, historic conservation, and sustainable protection of the natural and cultural heritage of a place, and then aiming to realize the self development with the participation of the local residents. Here we can see that the Echo Museum emphasized the first one is the institute protection. And the purpose is the self-development of the people. Since Soja <coughs> Miao Ethnic Museum have a great success in Guizhou, Southwest China in 1995, 10 years later in 2005, Guangxi, uh, Guangxi have launched uh, launch a uh, launch a uh, project named One Plus Ten Echo Museum Project is in the is in Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region, a uh, region just like a principle that with strong people as the main ethnic group. In this area, in this region, here is the center of the this system is in the Nanning city and 10 different villages located in <clears throat> located in the 
ethnic village. So, what's the relationship between one and ten? Let's see it. One here refers to the ethno. Look at here. Look at this museum. Is the anthropology museum of Guangxi, which is the projects center and consultation and decision maker for venue construction, scientific research, system formulation. And Tan refers to Tan Eco Museum scattered all over Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. It, they are built in the village, in the resident community that with the most population of the ethnic people. So one of them was built here in Jiuzhou village. You can see from the map that Nanning is here is a capital city. It's the capital city of Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Here is Vietnam. That capital city of Vietnam here, Hanoi, number three. You can see it. This Echo Museum is built in this village. This village is with, uh, is with very beautiful scenery and also very rich culture resources. So the Jiuzhou, its name is the Jiuzhou Echo Museum for Zhuang nationality. We can see from the map, we can see from the map and also we can see it from these pictures that it's a place far from the plain, central plain, far from the central big city. It's uh, in the mountain area, mountain area and with very small flat platform. Okay. The culture heritage system of this of this place can be divided into two parts. The first one is tangible cultural heritage and the second one is the intangible system. The religious building, traditional houses, the tomb group, porcelain, kale sites, rock painting, stone, stone carving, and ancient patio paddy field landscape together have formed the tangible cultural heritage system of this village. And then the intangible cultural heritage includes the Xiuqiu craftsmanship, Zhuang brocade craft, craftsmanship, traditional festival like this you can see in the picture, Zhuang brocade craftsmanship, uh, folk songs, Zhuang opera, Wood carving skills, ceramic production skills, rice wine, breathing skills, rice food production skills, herbal therapies, etc. With, with the cultural resources and with the help of the Eco Museum, Eco Museum there, people realize that they are they have very rich cultural resources. At the end, from the end of 1990s, they developed the tourism industry there. But in the following 10 years, they have very little income because people always come and leave without buying things, without contributing to this, the development of the, uh, the self-development of local people. So from after the coming of the Echo Museum in 2005, People realize that they should do something to make a new way of development. We call it the tourism class. In the past 10 years, people, the local people and the local government with the help of Eco Museum, they explored a new way to develop themselves. We call it the tourism class. And the first one is the tourism plus cultural model. The, the, they have several, they have four models. I, I, uh, in my research there, 
after that, in my investigation there, I found that they have four models. The first one is that tourism plus culture model. Culture is the resource, is the, is the life, is the essential life for the local people. They saw out their cultural heritage resources there and make it in combine it with the tourism and creating more cultural activities there. For example, you can see this from this uh, you can see from this picture is that the local people are joining the are joining the local herbal market. It's very traditional. It's very unique. Because every year during this date and people from different places to come to this village to sell the herbal the herbal uh, medicine and the local people also come to buy the the medicine to go back home to made to make the herbal wine and also to have a herbal bath to wash their body and to prevent themselves from the disease. And also the local women and do the needling work and to make uh, the traditional clothes, the costumes, and to uh, to make uh, to sell and get some money. The second one, as I concluded, is the tourism plus employment. The local government and the local people realize that um, the people have to stay at home take care of the family and also they can also make money uh, they can also make money in this way they can promote the development for uh, long-term development for the local community because their parents do not have to leave their family to go and go to the city and to make money they can stay at home to do what to do handicrafts and local specialty shop. They open this kind of shops and the women there and um, make make the needling work um, to sell it in front of their house. And local they have opened eight homestay hotels there. You can see from the picture this are this is a very beautiful homestay hotel and uh, 15 restaurants and many antique shops. 800 people getting involved in the tourism industry. It accounts more for more than 30% of the local population. The third module, as we summarize, is that the tourism plus e-commerce. During, especially during the uh, the COVID-19, the local uh, the local people realize that they have to do business without connection with the tourists because uh, tourists are less very little very few tourists come to this place and visit and uh, with the taking this chance they take this as a chance to sell the local products through the internet they sell the the xiu uh, board and also the brown sugars, the rice, the local sticky rice and zhongzi, and the bamboo products and wooden toys and rice products, etc. through the e-commerce. And the local government also support them to it and they to uh, give them a lot of to help them to promote their local products uh, because this place, this village are very, this village is very far from the, the central city and uh, uh, the foods cannot uh, sell out in the past but now they can do it and with the help of tourism promotion they sell their products very easy and the fourth module is that tourism plus. Uh, in 2018, China government promotes the research tourism project. In, it means that 
uh, the local, I uh, know the Chinese, Chinese primary school and Chinese middle school students should, should promote, I uh, should have to pay a visit to the out, to outside of the school to see how the food products and how the how beautiful the landscape is to encourage the love of the children to the hometown so uh, in the local the local village also open the place and promote this road for the students to come to have the research tour and also they uh, like, like they open this place and to to open space for information displays and to help the kids to understand the local culture and teach the kids to make the rice foods there. Okay, and in to sum up, the institute displayed of the tangible culture heritage there is very successful and also it pro it's the features of the Echo Museum because an um, Echo Museum aims to is aiming to promote institute protection of the tangible culture heritage. And the local the, the Echo Museum organized a team of the local people to do a preserving cultural memory project to improve the local they, to, to, they teach the local villages to uh, how to use the equipment to record the the beautiful memory of their life there to improve the residents awareness of the local, the cultural conservation enhance the awareness of participation in management of self management and also they promote the culture they promote the cultural demonstration household they open 14 homes as the displaying displaying place displaying household and open this space for people to visit and to see how the product the foods and how the handicrafts are operated and the tourism plus supports the goal of tourism income all the it supports the ticket income there because they they have brought uh, many benefit for the local people. So uh, this is my presentation, and thank you very much, and welcome to my hometown to pay a visit to this place, and thank you, thank you very much.